Lollipops in space! Okay, not outer space, but a landscape space. Foreground, middle ground, and background. So I bought these lollipops from the dollar store because I love lollipops and they're so pretty. And now I think I'm going to use them to make a little demonstration about what happens when we have things that are the same size, but they get closer or farther from us. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the wrappers because look, they're even prettier. Now I'm going to double check to make sure they actually are the same size. They're slightly off, but I mean, it's slight. All right, I think I'm about ready. Oh, they're so pretty. Can't wait to eat one. I bought four thinking maybe one will break. Hmm, maybe that'll happen. I'm going to need these to stand up, so here's what I've done. I've grabbed some clay. This is modeling clay, and I'm kind of just rolling it into balls. And what I'm going to do is use them to kind of stick the sticks into, and it's gonna help hold it up. You're gonna see later it doesn't quite work, and I actually add an extra plastic cup, but this is a good start. All right, so I'm putting some modern, they're very top heavy, they're very big, delicious lollipops. Mmm. It's time to create a lollipop landscape. We are going to do an experiment that'll help us in our drawing. When watching, this experiment, pay attention to the bottoms of the lollipops or the cups and the tops of the lollipops. What I want you to pay attention to is how close are the bottoms to the bottom of the frame and how close are the tops to the top of the frame or to each other. When I say frame, think of this video as a piece of paper. It's horizontal, it's a horizontal rectangle. And so what you're thinking about, how close is the lollipop to the bottom of the piece of paper and how close is it to the top? Is it moving up the page? Is it moving down the page? All right, let's get going. You did notice that everything was equal in height and they were pretty close to the bottom of the page at this point. Let's try by moving the middle one backwards. Right now they're all in what's called the foreground and now I've moved the one in the center back a little bit heading towards the middle ground. When I pushed it back, it appears it got smaller. The bottom of the cup, or the bottom of the lollipop, moved up the page, and the top of the lollipop came down. Again, notice how the top of the lollipops are slightly different heights now, and how the bottoms are also at different heights. The ones that are in the foreground, the two that I didn't move, that are closer to the bottom of the page, also appear to be bigger, but I didn't do magic. Nothing changed sizes. They are all still the same size. It's an optical illusion. You need to know this when we do drawings. Let's push this one back. So I'm going to push this third lollipop back, and I'm just moving it farther away from me on actuality, the camera that's filming it. All right, the camera has not moved. Now look what's happened. It has appeared to get really small, and look at the bottom of it. It has moved up the paper. I've moved it back even farther. It's moved up higher, and it's gotten smaller. Let's spend some time here and really observe. I have three lollipops, not four. One did fall, and it was cherry-flavored, and it was yummy, but that's not the point. One is in the foreground, so the biggest one one that appears to be the biggest, is in the foreground. It's closest to the bottom of the page, and it's the biggest, and it's actually closest to the top of the page. The one in the middle is in the middle ground. It's higher up from the bottom of the page, and it has come down. It's gotten smaller as well. I'm also having a little bit harder time to see the design in the lollipop. I don't see those white stripes as well. And then the last one that's the farthest from me and the camera that was filming is in the background. It's all the way in the back. It's the farthest away. It's appeared to have gotten really small. We know it hasn't changed size. I've been trying to earn, learn magic, but I haven't succeeded yet. This is the best I can do. An optical illusion, and you need to understand this to do the drawing. My background one appears to be the smallest. It has risen up higher on the paper, and it's come down lower. One last thing about that background one is take a look at its colors in that lollipop. We really do lose the detail as things get farther away. Kind of the colors started to blend a little bit. We've lost some of the detail of the individual striping. All right, let's talk about if it was in grass because 
we're going to do our own lollipop landscape and we're probably going to put some grass in there because landscapes often are outside and have some sort of ground covering. Here I've cut some paper. They're all the same size. They're just small papers to represent some grass. I'm going to place one in front of each of my lollipops, the larger one in the foreground or that appears to be larger in the foreground, the one in the middle ground that's halfway, and the one that's in the background. Look at the papers. They also appear to move up the page. They appear to get smaller. And if you want to notice, there's not really colors in there, but the value does change. Also look at the tops of them. These are things we're going to want to pay attention to when we draw our landscape. Guess what? It's time to create your lollipop landscape. Yum!